Rick Cobb again, and uh, this uh, week we're doing uh, answering the question of what happens when you give talents to dragons. And as an example here, I've got a kung fu dragon who's got all sorts of nifty kung fu uh, talents, and he's going up against uh, four characters we've seen before. The Nancy and Peter, the um, light crossbow snipers. Nancy the same as Peter. Eve, the illusionist. And Zixi, the gargoyle with the halberd. He's got the halberd ready at the moment. The bastard sword is a secondary weapon. All right, so we roll for initiative. The humans and gargoyles are dark, uh, dragon is light, and the dragon has the initiative. Uh, the setting here is that we assume this is an outdoor setting, infinite uh, clearance overhead, and all sides start on the ground, of course. So, uh, the dragon uh, has the initiative, and he says the human, uh, the human side moves first. So, the humans here... Uh, let's see. All right, the dragon can move eight on eight on the head. All right, so um, Zixi has got the running talent. Ah, yes, gargoyles of talents also. So he can move ten on the ground. So he's going to move up five, four, five to there. The crossbow snipers move up one. And uh, the wizard is going to move up one her. Alright, uh, yes. Alright, now I'll have the gargoyle only move up to here because I've got a nifty plan scheduled that requires uh, the gargoyle to remain next to the wizard. All right, uh, Wilbur uh, takes to the air here and can move uh, eight on his first turn. He's only going to move four because he's dodging. One, two, three, four to there. Note that it's the movement of the head that, or any one part on the multi-hex figure that determines how many hexes they've moved. All right, the dragon is dodging. The... Like crossbow men have, uh, and lady, have uh, adjusted dexes 14. So they're going to uh, uh, shoot there. Now, um, a big question is, does the evasiveness of unarmored combat 4 uh, apply to missile weapons? And my reading is it only applies to... Um, uh, attacks for the next tax over. So that's no benefit in this particular case. Uh, like, unlike shield expertise, which would definitely apply. So here we go. Uh, 14, and then... Ah, uh, they're at minus 1, so that's a 13 for the range, and it's 4 dice for the dodging. So, Nancy... is 9... 14, which is uh, just a miss for the range. And Peter... 10, 15 again, uh, also a miss. All right, the gargoyle does nothing in particular, but the wizard now is going to cast Illusion. And it's Illusion of the gargoyle. It's, uh, she's cloning off Zixi here. And uh, nine, she actually makes it this time. And so, Illusion clone rolls there, apply, whoop, and one of them immediately moves to another hex. Yes, if you have enough illusionists handy, you can move an unlimited number of hexes a turn. Well, they'd all have to be within the adjacent mega hex, so... I guess that limits you to slightly less than the speed of sound. Alright, so... That is, uh... Eve here is nailed down... Eve is now down. Fatigue, two points for casting the spell. 
All right, so one of the gargoyles is an illusion, and one of them not, and the dragon doesn't know which is which. So, next turn. Uh, also, the gargoyle remained on the ground in order to facilitate this particular maneuver. All right. It's a tie on initiative. Rolling again. Ah, the dragon wins again. All right. Yeah, you should have taken tactics. All right. Uh, the dragon is again going to ask the uh, arrows to move on up. And uh, Eve's going to take another step forward boards the gargoyles are you know with halberds ready move up three the crossbow snipers continue to diverge and now it's the dragon's turn Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. He's going to get pushy on this one. He's going to just take a full move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and... Thirteen. That's the maximum move you can get from a dragon. All right. So now, and then he's, it's a land. So he goes, pop, lands on top of the wizard. All right. The wizard needs to roll to retain her fe uh, uh, footing. She's got dex thirteen. So that should be an easy roll. Let's see. Yep. And with a twelve, she succeeds and steps back one. The uh, crossbowman is in a side hex. Note that it's the uh, hexes adjacent to the to the head that are in front. And the hexes that are adjacent here to the tail, the rear. So it's it's the with the two one of the two side hexes. All right, and so he's not engaged. So he continues to uh, let, let out crossbow bolts if he likes. All right, the dragon made a full move, so can't do anything else. The, the gargoyles were simply outflanked. So, and the wizard was forced back. Uh, wait a second. Uh, it'd be better for her. Yeah, let's, let's take her, her step back to there. This way she can clone again. Clone, clone on the range. All right, so the crossbowmen are first. Peter here taking a shot. It's not a last ditch missile shot because he's not engaged, being in the side hex. So that's a 14 to hit. Oh, wait a second. He is engaged because unarmored, unarmored combat 4 makes uh, that a side hex a front hex. All right. So that is 11 for his last ditch missile shot, which is a hit. Ooh, 12 points. Now. Wilbur has scales and toughness, which stop five. So that's seven in, and the unarmored combat doesn't work against missile weapons. So he, he stops uh, five from his defenses, so he takes seven. A very good hit, indeed. All right, uh, Nancy tries the same. See if she gets equal success. That's also a hit. Four, two dice, minus five. There's only two hits in. All right, and the wizard was pushed back one hex, so it can cast a spell again. And let's see, does he have any really good defensive spells? Alright. Uh, she's gonna uh, 
He's going to disengage. Doesn't want to be adjacent to a dragon. All right, so next turn. Everyone's on the ground. Peter is engaged. No one else is engaged. Who has initiative? Ty. And the dragon has initiative again. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, time, it's time to get nasty. So, he's going to take the first move before the, uh, to uh, preempt the gargoyles getting on him. One, two, three. All right, Nancy's roll to retain her footing is an 11. In the 10, she makes it and is moved to there. And now Eve. Oops. 8, 9, 10 is a success. So she also retains her footing and is now in a rear hex. All right. Uh, Peter turns in place, and since he's no longer engaged, he can continue to use his crossbow. And these guys go... One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. So they're doing... They're doing, uh... Crossbow. Uh, in fact, uh... uh for, yeah, let, let's, let's uh, take an additional hex of movement and get into a side hex here. So Wilbur is finally engaged with opponents on basically all sides and his head against the wall. Alright, so uh, first up is, or, now the gargoyles here are on a, uh, a rear hex, which counts as a side hex because of the unarmed, unarmed combat uh, talents. And so uh, they're at 13. So Nancy and Peter are the, the, the top one. So Nancy gets her one last missile shot, which is a hit for two dice minus five. Uh, another two points. And uh, now, uh, Wilbur had the initiative, so he strikes first. Uh, oh, I think. Uh, Peter from behind. Another missile weapon shot. And it's a 16, which is an automatic miss. All right. Now, Wilbur has the initiative, so he gets the first attack. So he gets his tail lash against the side rear hexes, thanks to unarmored combat, against uh, all these three people behind him. So here we go. Against Eve, he needs a 13 to hit. 12 hits, and she needs a 13 to retain her footing. And with a 16, that's an automatic miss. Boop. All right, against Z, Gargoyle Z, 13 to hit. Nine plus three, that's a hit. And an 11 to retain the footing. Yep. And now against Gargoyle G, 13 to hit. Nine, yep, exactly. And an 11 to retain the footing. Yes. All right. And now he gets a claw strike against uh, Nancy. So here we go. Uh, we got, uh, that's a, Three die, minus two, because of the martial arts. Ooh, Kung Fu Dragon. All right, uh, 13 to hit. That's a hit for three dice, minus two. Uh, nine points. Nancy has, uh, does Nancy have anything? She's got toughness one, so she takes eight points and falls down. Wee, boop. 
All right, now, is it worth uh, casting a fireball at somebody? All right, well, it costs three fatigue. Even with a, even with a thrown weapons challenge. Yes, even with a thrown weapons challenge, that doesn't look like a, a, a good use of strength. So that's all from him. And now the deck 13's on the other side. All right, uh... Eve has fallen down, so lost her turn. Nancy has fallen down. A Z and G. Two gargoyles, one real, one not. Who knows which is which. Note that the dragon doesn't just go around disbelieving illusions, because some, some of the time it's going to be a real gargoyle. So Z is a 13 for the side hex uh, with a pole weapon charge of, let's see, that's going to be... Uh, three die pull weapon charge. If it works. Here it goes, Z. And with a 14 is exactly a miss. And G. Again, a 13. Oh, 10 is a hit. And for three dice. Alright. 11. All right, that's 13, and now let's take a look here at what the rules have to say about unarmored combat four. Is it just from the front hexes that these uh, the damage is reduced? Let's take a quick check here. All right, here we go. Evade. Ah, from all your front hexes are minus two. So it's, it's only the front hexes. So from the rear, they don't get the additional bonus. So that is... Uh, Alright, so that's three dice. For 13, minus five for the remaining defenses is eight. It's taken a total of 19 against his 30 strength so far. All right, next turn. Ah, the dragon again has initiative. Let's see. And asked for the humans and gargoyles to move first. All right, uh, well, let's see, got them engaged, but we're in a side hex, so we can't move three out and three back for the charge bonus. All right, instead we're going to, uh, and we're not engaged here, so we're going to shift around like that. And Peter steps one back and continues firing. So, Wilbur's turn. He takes two points of movement to flip completely around. And then a third point of movement to move on top of these two. Now, the uh, person on the ground uh, remains on the ground underneath the dragon. And the gargoyle here he gets a dex roll, step back, and makes it. Now, the, the, you can only push back a smaller figure one hex per turn, and so that's what, what's occurring here. So, uh, well, Wilbur had the initiative. Peter has a missile weapon talent, which gives him a first shot. There we go. Peter. That's a hit. And two dice minus five. One point. All right, well, they're, they're, they almost got this dragon down. Just need to push it a little bit further. All right, now Wilbur has the, the first attack. So he's going to take a stomp on uh, Eve underneath him. And 
and that's a hit off the of deck 13. And now uh, strength 30 to strength 8 is a 3 to 1 advantage. And as we see here from stomping, uh, where is the stomping? Crampling. Right. Yeah, where's trampling? I think it's here. This is here in the yep, 126. All right, trampling. Two dice damage from three times the strength. All right, two dice on Eve. Is seven points. She has no particular defenses. That's a total of nine, which is unconscious. All right, so which is the real gargoyle? One, two, three, it's G. Four, five, six is Z. All right, G goes away. Poof. And Wilbur is no longer engaged at this point. And now he takes his call slot strike against Z, which is the only um, which is the only target within range. And again, because of this, uh, the, the fiendish martial arts. This is a three dice minus two attack if he hits. All right, 10, 11, it's a hit. Three dice minus two. Is nine points, and now Zixi has just his skin working for him. So that's three off, so he takes six. So that's a dex reduction for Zixi this turn, uh, which makes him down to, uh, that's a minus two adjustment, right? That's a, he's a dex nine to strike back with his halberd. No particular reason to switch to the sword at this point. And that's a clear miss, because, uh, yeah, in any case. And Nancy stands up on her turn. All right, now, next turn. One wizard down, one gargoyle hardened, one of the uh, two humans, uh, two uh, crossbow snipers is hurting. But the dragon's pretty low on hit points, so let's see who's going to win this one. Ah, the humans finally get the initiative. And, uh, da, 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 da. they're, they're, they're going to take the, no, they're, they're going to ask the dragon to move first. All right. Uh, da, da, da. All right. The dragon wants to finish off uh, what he's got here. So he goes one, two to there. Uh, Zixi needs to roll to retain footing, and with a sixteen is an automatic fail. And let's see. That is in here. One twenty-four. No, what was it? No, no, one twenty-six. Trampling. Falls underfoot. All right. And so. Nancy apparently retained her crossbow, so does a uh, one last shot missile weapon attack again, consecutively. Well, wait a second, she was... No, she wasn't engaged last turn because the dragon moved away. Alright, yeah, so she gets a one last shot missile attack. That's a hit. For two dice minus five. One point. Ooh, Wilbur's down to nine uh, hits. And Peter. 
hits again for another two points. The dragon is definitely hurting. All right, the dragon does a stomp on Z. Ooh, a double damage stomp. Two dice doubled. 10, 20, yeah, Zixi's out there. Crunch. All right, and now a call swipe on Nancy. Uh, 12, 13, exactly a hit for three dice minus two. Uh, yeah, Nancy's out. All right, that's three kills so far. Let's see what happens the next turn. The dragon has the initiative. He tells the, uh, the puny human to move first. Run, run, you fool. All right. Stepping back, and the dragon goes, one, two, three. All right, uh, Peter attempts to retain footing. Nine, ten, eleven, exactly makes it. Steps back to there. Peter is going to take a one last shot missile attack. With the crossbow. And with a 14, exactly a hit. Two dice minus five for two more points. The dragon has five hits remaining, which is not which is not weakness. You get down to three to be weak, you know. If you start with 100 strength, you get down to, you know, four strength, you're still fine. All right, so Wilbur takes a claw swipe here. Dex 13, 3 dice minus 2. Alright, that's a hit. 4. Alright, 10, 11. I can shrink 12. Peter uh, falls over from this. All right, next turn. Who has the initiative? Tied. Ah, uh, the humans have the initiative. Um, well, only the dragon's moving at the most is at this moment. And the dragon is going to stay in his current spot, which is it seems the safest from. So the dragon has a plus four for against a drowned foe, which is deck 17 to hit with a claw. Ooh, double damage and ooh, one doubled is two, and that's still a kill. And the dragon wins. Hallelujah. I'll see you next week for another exciting adventure.